He's the tiny chihuahua of Morning Talk Radio. It's your host, Adam Josh. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to Morning Banana, number 34. <laughs> My name is Adam Josh, and that is a banana. I have two more here. Uh, it's the end of the week, so I'm probably not going to need all those. And how do you like your bananas? Do you like them uh, ripe? Do you like them green? We're listening to <coughs> The World is Flat. B-A-G-D-A-G featuring D-Marble. Official video. I've actually heard this before when it came out. Big fan. That was 2017. So, let's turn that off. Our special guest today, he's agreed to be on the show, is Daryl Marble himself. And before I give you an intro about him, I just wanted to follow up on something I've been talking about this last couple of days, which is... Uh, <clears throat> During the 2016 presidential election coverage, I noticed that the meme department, which was always added to cover every other slip-up of any politician, was like not covering Joe Biden being a creepy pervert. So now, <clears throat> three years later, after the president, Donald Trump, was trolling Biden last night on his Twitter account, now, after three days of Drudge having headlines about creepy Joe Biden. Now, the meme department has finally caught up. I've been tweeting some of the memes that have come out. If you look at the old, uh, if you look at hashtag Biden grope, you'll mostly find me on Twitter pointing this stuff out in 2016. Like, uh, I, didn't, I did not understand how people were letting this guy go. Such a hypocrite, too. <clears throat> so, it's uh, 8.21 a.m., <clears throat> Let me try to give uh, Daryl Marble an introduction. <clears throat> so when I first started, I don't have anything written down as far as an introduction for Daryl, but um, when I first started getting into Flat Earth, I don't think it's any secret, and I've, I've talked about it quite a few times, that it was a combination of uh, meditation and a few things bugging me about every time I saw any NASA footage or any of the credits on images that I was looking at in books that I was given, it would say um, artist rendering. So a combination of those two things, meditation and my own just curiosity about why is everything say artist rendering, got me to start looking a little bit deeper. And there's, this is like 20, I would say 2014, 20, late 2014, early 2015, and I didn't start talking about it publicly for a while after that. <clears throat> but the first few, few people that I came across online were people that I've talked about before, like uh, Paul Michael Bale's Math Powerland, and uh, I think everybody had come across Eric Dubay, but nothing that Eric Dubay put out ever sat right with me. I was like, who is this guy? Where is he? Like, wh you know, he doesn't do, like, live things. He doesn't do conferences. He doesn't talk to people outside of... Anyway, that's a whole other subject. But another person that I came across was Daryl Marble. And the first time that... <clears throat> it was around the same year. The first time that, uh, the first thing I ever saw from him was uh, the spirit level experiment. And Daryl actually made international news with this one. He took a spirit level, I have one around the corner, just a big old spirit level, and pro brought it on a plane and just filmed it. And um, the hilarious part is, so, you know, the plane goes up, it tilts backwards, and then for the duration of his flight, you know, the, uh, the spirit level is perfectly flat. And, uh, you know, the trolls and the haters will say whatever about that, but the only thing they really can say is gravity. But gravity's holding the ball down, you know. I wound up uh, really interested with that experiment, so um, I wound up finding Daryl's number. And the last time I talked to him on the phone was, I think it was 2016. I was working as a technician in, uh, in the GTA around Toronto, and I think I just pulled over one day and I was like, I found his number and I was like, I got to call this guy and talk to him because I was about to take a flight and 
I wound up doing a bubble level app experiment where before I got on the plane and after when I got off in a different airport, I had set the bubble level to certain to a certain uh, orientation so that if logic would dictate that I have some curvature on the other side, the bubble level app should have tilted. But I mean, it was flat in both uh, airports, so there's nothing really to talk about. I covered the whole thing uh, on Twitter pretty uh, extensively back then and I did an explanation about it afterwards. But uh, outside of that, I mean, obviously Daryl is a bit of a rapper and another thing that uh, I don't know I don't know about his rap career so I don't want to say anything maybe maybe he's a really successful rapper maybe he's not maybe he's got an album I honestly not, I don't know but I talked to him on the phone that day in 2016 and uh, I think we had a good chat and I uh, just told him like where I was at and how I came into flat earth into uh, the topic and uh, <coughs> when I had talked to him on the phone at that point in his life, he was telling me he was thinking about going vegan and he was uh, doing a, a video blog with uh, Vegan Warrior. I'm trying to remember the conversation, but, um, you know, we'll follow up with that if he answers the phone. And another thing is that, uh, what else? Oh yeah, you may know Daryl Marble from his uh, van casts, and I'm not sure if he's still living in that awesome decked out van that he has. But what a way to save money. Uh, and if you're around the right climate, what a way to save money. Um, so I'm just going to give him a call. I figured I would ask Daryl Marble since it's been three years since I've talked to him on the phone. Some things have changed. You know, I'm in a new office and a little bit different of a career. And I have the opportunity to spend some time in the morning to do this morning banana show. I should probably grab a banana and start eating it. Um, so I'm going to ask him some things like uh, what he's up to lately, if there's anything new in his world, and we'll get into it. Uh, hopefully he answers the phone when I call. Let's, uh... Here we go. <clears throat> My ability to live stream on YouTube was shut down overnight. So I'm live streaming on Periscope right now, and I'm recording this, and I will upload the video as soon as I can. Isn't that crazy? Overnight. Hello, hello. Hello, good morning. Is this Daryl Marble? This is Daryl Marble. I'm hello, good morning. Thank you so much for being on the, the Morning Banana Show number 34. How are you doing? I'm um, pretty good, Adam. Just woke up. You know, I just woke up about, uh, I would say, what time is it now? It's 8.30 here, so about an hour ago. But I came to the shop here, and um, I was really excited that we finally were able to get on a, um, on a morning banana together. And um, a little bit of technical difficulties. I had uh, an email from YouTube saying, overnight they shut down my ability to live stream on a mobile. So... YouTube is playing some shenanigans, but I'm not really surprised. I don't think that uh, there's many people who want you and I to be able to have this chat together for some reason. I guess so. Good Lord, let me check my email to see if I got one. Uh, I've been uh, having, having issues with them lately, man. Um, lots, of, lots of people have subscribed from my uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, actually, just found a way to check the analytics, and um, uh, I just looked since uh, January, well, not January 1st, since, since the beginning of this month. This is April the 5th now. Yeah. Uh, I just checked it yesterday. Between the 1st and the 3rd, uh, about 45 people subscribed to my channel, 34 were unsubscribed, so I'm left with 11 total subscribers out of the everyone who subscribed lately so it, it, I, it's just something that i just figured out how to check uh, as far as the analytics on youtube kind of sucks what they're doing but it's, it's craziness man yeah anyway yeah so uh what are you up to anyway. yeah what are you up to lately and uh last time we chatted was uh, 2016 i called you when i was sitting in a van uh before i went into a job in uh in burlington but I was curious uh, what you've been up to lately in the last three years and if there's anything new going on in your world. Well, uh, lately, I've uh, been kind of pushing the uh, activism, the street activism aspect of Flat Earth. Uh, I feel like I've made enough videos uh, to you know, give me the proper talking points and uh, a strong enough foundation to have a conversation. 
conversation with any stranger on the street. And uh, I'm typically uh, talking with strangers about Flat Earth anyway because of they'll see my van, yeah. the way that it's decorated, has the Flat Earth messages on the sides. And, um, or, or if they see, see me wear a shirt or my laptop cover, which is a, <laughs> it says something about Flat Earth. So I'm always having the conversation. It's just a matter of now I've been uh, out in front of the camera yeah. uh, having conversations with people uh, in front of uh, bodies of water. Yeah, we, or, <clears throat> we tuned in the other night. Uh, Desiree and I tuned in the other night when you were doing a live stream, and Desiree's sitting beside me, and as, you're, as people were walking by, Desiree says to me, tell him to compliment their accessories, compliment their purse or their shoes. <laughs> I, I, I believe I saw that. <laughs> you did, you did. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then uh, shortly after, I was like, hey, that's a cute dog. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. So, so, yeah, so I'm open <laughs> You know, as far as how these things go, or just icebreakers, because I'm generally an uh, introvert anyway, but, um, you know, it's a necessary conversation to have. I like talking flat earth with people, so. Absolutely. Uh, for, those of, uh, for those of the people who are watching this that may not know, could you uh, briefly, if it's possible, sum up how you wound up in uh, flat earth, or how you wound up going flat? Uh, wound up in Flat Earth as a result of my girlfriend and I getting into so-called conspiracy theories for so long that we became burnt out to a point to where we had to hop off of YouTube and get away from all that stuff that we were absorbing because the world was starting to seem rather bleak. Um, so we get on to Netflix, watch this series called Under the Dome, watch all three seasons of that. Um, we're like, all right, now back to YouTube. So we go on YouTube and we... I guess we were looking for extras. We type in Under the Dome, and the first video that pops up was a Flat Earth video. It was a compilation of uh, Flat Earth Clues by uh, Leisure X. It was a two-hour video, and we ended up watching that, like, all weekend. And because we had figured that uh, we had been deceived by our government on so many other things, you know, Flat Earth came rather easy uh, because of the points that were made during that uh, documentary. As far as NASA being able to fake moon missions and uh, Antarctic Treaty, things like that, so you know it, it didn't it didn't take long. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually had an argument with a flat earther. What year was that? Would you say? Uh, the summer of 2015. So, in your opinion, uh, this is something I, I mean to ask everybody, but I always forget. In your opinion, in modern times, who was flat first? Well. Um, a lot of times, who was flat first? It's hard to tell. I know, I know, I know. That's why I'm sorry. I'm st <clears throat> I started asking I really, people. I, I really don't know. Uh, it was around the same time as, uh, like, Eric Dubay, Matt Powerland, Mark Sargent. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I really haven't gone into the lineage of the modern flat earth movement. And yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but props to all those guys for, uh, you know, having the courage to step out when there are yeah. so many, so few people uh, talking about it. Speaking know? of uh, documentaries and whatnot and people who were um, out there first, did you see that uh, documentary Behind the Curve on Netflix? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I've, I've heard about it. Honestly, I haven't seen it. So if you have you seen it or no? Uh, yeah, I've seen it a couple times. I'm I didn't watch it. So what do you think? What are your thoughts about it? Because, I mean, I haven't seen it. There's a lot of people who are, who are watching this that probably won't watch it. Um, well, you know, it was pretty much what I would expect from a documentary about Flair that ends up on Netflix. <laughs> yeah. um, the people who made the documentary, they um, kind of painted themselves as an even-handed group who were just going to film and follow these characters around and, uh, you know, present, present a fair and balanced piece, but that's not what happened. I mean, you know, I've said this so many times, it was a typical hit piece, Yeah. but I mean, that, that's what we come to expect, but, you know, there, there have been people who will, I mean, negative reinforcement works too, as far as waking people up to flat earth. You know, there was a lady that I talked to a while ago. The reason that she started looking into Flat Earth was because she heard 
uh, former President Obama mentioned Flat the Earth Flat Earth Society. Society. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She heard him mention that on multiple occasions. She's like, "Why does he keep talking about Flat Earth?" So she ends up looking into it. She's like, "Oh, because the Earth is flat." So yeah. she like figured it out because he was, you know, outwardly opposing. And the same thing's happening with these documentaries with Logan Paul behind the curve. Yep. Um, you know, other like the media hit pieces because people hear about this. You know, they end up looking into it. Now, not all of them, and a lot of times it'll just kind of <sighs> kind of desensitize people uh, who have heard about flat Earth to say, you know what? Uh, okay, like I said, you know, these guys are idiots. And they know it. Uh, you know, uh, it's like they're overreaching. They're overreaching yeah. so much that it's kind of like any anybody with common sense takes a step back and says, well, wait a minute. Why are they making such a big deal out of this? Exactly. But it's that flat. It's that flat that they have to. Yeah. yeah exactly. And, and, I mean, we're, I believe collectively we're making enough noise that this is a conversation that's being forced to the forefront. And people can't really ignore it anymore, so now what the media has to do, they have to come out with something negative. But that's just going to push more people into uh, taking a look at it. Speaking of uh, Logan Paul's To the Edge and Back, I I'm assuming that you have seen that as well? I have seen that heaping pile of garbage. Did, yes. did I, And I know that you were at that Flat Earth conference. Uh, did you suspect when you were there that he was up to some shenanigans? Did you see his film crew? Like, what, what was the situation with that? I, I personally never even met him. <laughs> I, I never even met him. We were in the same room once. Yeah. We were in the same room once, I believe. Um, I, I wasn't like a fanboy. I didn't even know who the guy was, honestly, before. I mean, like the night before, um, I remember hearing that it might be him, and I ended up watching a few minutes of a couple of his videos. I'm like, ugh, that's yeah. what's coming. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> his demographic um, is uh, ten, basically 10 to 15-year-old uh, kids, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, he, he's very, very lowbrow comedy. Um, just, just these sketches where he's just doing random stuff, and I mean that's kind of where he's locked himself into. Yeah. His his mission was to put out a video every day, and if you have to create content every day, eventually you're not going to be able to entertain anyone uh, with a level of decency every yeah. single day. You know, after a while. No, I agree. So, so you're going to have to start doing just random stuff to try to top yourself. You're going to have to go to like like greater extremes to uh, you know keep the audience entertained. And I mean, that's kind of the corner that he's boxed himself into. So, you know, he uh, like thinking back on it, yeah, it makes sense that he would you know try to troll troll flat Earth. But you know, as a result, uh, there was another channel. Um, AMTV, uh, Alternative Media TV on YouTube. He has around like 645,000 subscribers. He came out as a biblical flat earther uh, just a couple weeks ago as a result of Logan Paul's uh, video and YouTube censorship. So it's kind of backfiring. Yeah, I agree. You know, overreaching. Overreaching is, is definitely backfiring. Hey, um, before I ask you if uh, there's any... Um Anything that you'd like to promote or plug or if there's any uh, clothing or whatever that people can uh, purchase from you. Before that, I just have one last question for myself, and that is, what is your opinion, with all your research now, of what is beyond the Antarctic ice walls? I have no idea. Right? That's honest? I don't have any idea either. Maybe a lot of ice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we, we don't know. I we mean, don't know. It's 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 all speculation, and that's that's where a lot of people don't want to be at. And I'm I'm fine here. <laughs> I, I, I feel I feel like a more logical push at this point is not so much, um, uh, you know, that the Earth is flat so much. But I, I mean, I'm kind of locked in now because I'm you know flat Earth offensive guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so 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 I mean, I would I would encourage people coming along now to not so much be a flat earther as much as a globe skeptic or a globe denier, because it's obvious that it's you know the system isn't what we've been taught. You know, right. The whole gravity, uh, the vacuum existing next to it in 
closed system. That makes no sense. You know, curved water. Come on. But, you know, they've been telling us it's, it's a globe. It's not a globe. We can deny that. But we can't say, well, I mean, there's this beyond the ice wall. It's all speculation because we don't really know. Well, calling ourselves flat earthers was the op opposing side of the pendulum, right? And I understand why we all did that at first. But, I mean, I have two kids, and they're asking their teachers questions, too, that the teachers can't answer. So I think I would agree with you to tell the kids and the people coming up after us that we had to do this because we had to be the opposing side. We were the first people in modern times to start coming out against uh, globalists and globalis globalism and, and the globe model. But they, they don't have to be like that. They don't have to say... We're flat earthers because it, it almost makes you sound ridiculous because everybody inherently knows that earth isn't flat. There's mountains, <laughs> but that's not what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. You know, there, there's always going to be people who like to mince words, uh, pick apart every little thing. We mean, we mean generally flat because it's mostly covered in water. <laughs> yeah. And the surface of water is always flat. Yeah, I loved I loved your laser experiments. I loved your um, uh, spirit level experiment on the plane. I mean, you got a lot of news about that and a lot of news coverage, and I, I was really proud of you, man, for that. Thanks. A lot of respect. It was, it, it was a fun time, man. I, I appreciate it. Um, you know, uh, like I <laughs> like I always tell people, I'm just a guy just doing stuff. You know. Yeah. Um, you know, if it, if it seems like it'll be interesting or. Uh, you know, helpful to just these simple ways. And I know a lot of times the stuff that I do or the things that I talk about, uh, it's, it's questions that are contemplated in our early years, you know, before we actually start, um, you know, the, the hardcore bombardment of the globe propaganda. These, just, these, just these simple questions like, I mean, um, why doesn't the moon independently orbit around the sun like all these other heavy, far-reaching planets in our solar system. You know, yeah. the moon orbits around Earth and not the sun like everything else. I, that, that, what? Yeah. You know, I mean, just simple, simple <clears throat> stuff like that. And it, it causes it causes a lot of people to come at me like, you're an idiot. I'm like, dude, I'm just asking questions. <laughs> That's all. all <coughs> I get people to pay. So, Daryl, where can people buy your merchandise? I know that you have uh, shirts and sweaters, and uh, is there anything else that you'd like to touch on or any links that you'd like to share? Jeez. Um, well, you can contact me at uh, contact at dmarble.info via email um, at dmarble1 on, on uh, Twitter, uh, d underscore marble underscore fe on uh, Instagram, and d.marble on YouTube. And I really can't remember the, <laughs> the link to the storefront where the um, T-shirts and hoodies and all that are available. It's not. And here's the thing: I don't so much sell that stuff, Adam. I, oh I, no. The thing is, I, I made myself some shirts for when I do flat Earth videos, and people started to ask me oh, okay. if they could get a shirt like the ones that I made for myself to wear. Yeah. That that that's about it. I rarely even say, "Hey, if you'd like to buy some T-shirts," I, I never do that. Okay. But, but yeah, if, if somebody does, I can send them the link and, you know, and I'll appreciate them purchasing it. Yeah, I, I know that you're pretty heavily self-sufficient, uh, self-sufficient, and that's what uh, the van life was all about, right? Yeah. And you've been doing that uh, three, four years now. Uh, it's, it's just been a little over, a little over two years, actually. It, I okay. mean, it seems like longer, though. Wow. Well, thank you so much for coming on the Morning Diana Show, even though we had a bit of uh, scheduling difficulties. But we pushed through, and, and we did it, and I really appreciate your time. So thank you so much. No problem. Maybe we'll get you on some other time. Thanks again. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, take care, Al. Take care, Daryl. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> The one and only. Now I have to stop this video and upload it to YouTube because my live streaming privileges were taken away last night. I'm gonna make another copy. Get to my day. I'm gonna start doing more construction upstairs. Marlite. Marlite cheating.
Take care, everybody. See you on the next banana. Three five.